We have with us Mr. Suresh P. Manglani, the ED and CEO of Adani Total Gas. He'll be talking to us about their plans and ventures into new alternative fuel segments and also about their plans going ahead in future. Welcome to NDTV Profit, Mr. Manglani. Thank you for inviting Adani Total Gas. Sir, uh, we got to know that you all are planning to enter into uh, several new alternative segments of you know, fuel. So can you take our audiences through like which are these projects that you all are planning to enter into? It's a very good question. I think we are a hard focus on the development of a city gas distribution, which is our core business. What we are also seeing that there are adjacent business opportunities. For example, we have, there is a huge focus by the government on compressed biogas. Now, for many, this is a problem. For us, it's an opportunity. So we decided to seize that opportunity and incorporate a separate subsidiary. And today we are developing India's largest CBG project in Barsana near Mathura. Then another municipal solid waste project we are developing in Ahmedabad. So we are seeing CBG as another bigger opportunity for us to supplement the requirement, supplement the supply of a natural gas, which is organic natural gas, which is which will make India self-reliant, which will make India more proud that we are actually now making our own natural gas through uh, converting waste to the wealth. So that is one part. Second, we saw there is besides CNG as a transport fuel, we also saw government is focusing on EV as a EV charge, EV as, a, as a, another fuel. Again, some people thought this is a problem for CNG. We thought this is an opportunity to also provide multi-fueling basket to the consumer. So we have now decided to set up EV charging station across the country. And today we are already in the 10, 10 state, 46 cities. And soon we'll be in a 20 state, 130 cities. That work is also going on. Similarly, there is another big opportunity which is appears to be emerging now in India, is the LNG for transport and mining. So we, we consume around 80 tons of, 80, 80 metric tons of a diesel. 50% is consumed by, by, by long haul trucks as well as the buses. And then that is going to grow further. So our view is that with the supportive policies, this is another bigger opportunity, how we are seeing in China and other parts of the world. Uh, energy transition through from a diesel to natural gas is going to happen soon in the future. So accordingly, again, this is another opportunity we are developing. So basically, the way we are growing ourselves, we will have a CNG as a core fuel, we will have a CBG, EV and LNG. Sir, you spoke about these three segments. Just wanted to understand what will be the capacities that you will be setting up. You said the CBG plant is the largest in India. So what is the kind of capacity? Then also for CNG and also for uh, the uh, third one that you spoke about. You see, we have 33 geographical areas in India with us, which translate 94 districts. Then we have 19 geographical area with our JV company with IOCL. That translates 30 districts. So Adani Total Gas is the largest CGD developer in the country in 124 districts. For so today we are extensively working on across all geographical area. We are developing CNG station, we are developing pipeline network. So the 9th and 10th round GS which we got, we have done a lot of work there. And now we are targeting to similarly put a lot of investment on 11th round. Similarly on the bio side, as I said, we are developing Barsana and soon we would be also going beyond Barsana. So we will set up large number of CBG plants in the country on municipal solid waste and on non-municipal solid waste. Non-municipal solid waste would be paddy straw, napier grass, trace mud, cattle dung, various kind of feeds we do. So we, we intend to develop ourselves with a, one, another, uh, besides like a C, CGD, we are a largest developer. Similarly, we would like, we want to be placing ourselves with the largest CBG developer in the country. And for LNG also, if you can talk. LNG for transport and mining. I think that is the business we are started now developing. We hope to play a significant role in LNG. It will, it, it will go to take some time in developing ecosystem because there are multiple stakeholders are involved into this. So we hope to develop this again, this as a big opportunity for Iran Total Gas. Sir, Prime Minister talks about taking the energy mix of natural gas in the energy mix to almost 15%. Whereas we are right now at 6.1 and we are still growing at very uh, 
you know, small pace. So how do you think that this can be increased? You know, what are your uh, strategies for that? So I think it's a, again a very good question. Uh, there is a clear vision from the government that India's share of natural gas in energy basket is going to be growing from 6 and 6.1% to 15% by 2030. For that we are all preparing. That is the reason the regulator has given licenses for entire country now. Pipeline network is being developed up to northeast and the, and the or north side in the Kashmir side. So today we have 25,000 kilometer pipeline, 10,000 kilometer more is coming. Similarly on LNG side, we have 48 million ton capacity, 20 more, 20 tons more is coming. So and upstream side also there are a lot of good favorable supportive policies are being made. So I think holistically government is taking steps to make sure that India is fully prepared to grow reach of infrastructure to provide affordable, accessible natural gas to large masses. That will certainly grow our share from 6.1% to 15%. So two more important sectors which we believe that if we could provide support, there is a huge potential to grow. One is MSME sector. So what we see in India that micro, small, medium enterprise has a potential of more than 100 million on our CMD. Now that is one sector we are we are all cities are working to provide last mile connectivity. But what we are seeing is that if there is a possibility of developing some ecosystem to encourage and incentivize MSME to convert on natural gas across the country so that there is a level playing field. Similarly, for the next five years, if we could bring some sort of like a PLI is there in the for manufacturing, we can bring some CLI, consumer linked incentive for smaller micro consumers to use natural gas. This will help India to become more healthy because there is a health hazard will be removed and this will become more India cleaner. People will be using cleaner fuel across the country. So that is the one segment. And second segment we believe there is a huge potential is LTM, LNG for transport and mining. So if, if we are able to capture even 25% of a diesel consumption, it will be almost 20 to 30 million tons of a diesel, which is going to be very large opportunity to again bridge the gap of 6.1% to 15%. So of course, CGD will play a big role. Power, fertilizer, industrial are playing a big role. I think MSME and LTM are again a bigger opportunity available for us to capture. And uh, one last question, how much of this uh, total opportunity that you are talking about you see coming to Adani total since you are now expanding into various segments? So in terms of today actually our large, most of the volumes are coming from existing geogra geographical area and some portion is coming for a newer area where, where it is developing. You know CGD takes time, the gestation period of developing infrastructure and volume ramp up takes some time. So if you are going to develop what we have done in Ahmedabad, Faridabad and Khurja places, in all other districts, we will have a significant share of this 6.1% to 15% of the volume which is going to come. We will also be the contributor in that, in the, in that uh, proportion. So you said that 100 MMSCMD kind of requirement may come from MSMEs. If we have to grow from 6.1% to 15%, what kind of gas requirement will be there from the industry? So there are, see, it is it is basically how the energy basket is going to grow. If India is from a today six and a half percent GDP, seven seven and a half percent we are growing. To that extent, energy basket is also growing. That's the reason we came down from six point five percent to six point one. Natural gas consumptions have gone up, but because energy basket has grown, so I think we need to see how energy baskets are growing. In that sense, we need at least two, two, three to four times of a growth in the current consumption to reach to 15%. Uh, thank you very much for talking to NDTV Profit, sir. It was our pleasure. Thank you.